Hello and welcome to City Trekker. My name's Adam and we aim to find the right gear for the right task for you. Today we're going to take a look at the Remote Equipment Alpha 31 second production in both EPX 600 and UVX 40. Let's check it out. Today's video is sponsored by Western Rise and I've been a big fan of theirs for over two years now. I'm wearing their Versa hat, the Strong Core Merino tee, and the Evolution pants. And the Evolution pant is one of my top two favorite pants. I've worn these pants while traveling, while hiking, while riding a motorcycle in Nepal, while speaking at a formal event. They are such a versatile pant and they're so thin, so they're really great when it's hot outside. I love Western Rise clothing and I'm thrilled to have them as a sponsor. And if you use my link down below, I can get you 15% off of all their products. So big shout out and a thanks to Western Rise for sponsoring this video. Remote Equipment was founded by Philip De Los Reyes in 2017. Launching on Kickstarter with the Alpha 31 with moderate success, this unique pack slowly became a holy grail for many. Link to the original Alpha 31 review down below. Remote Equipment followed up the Alpha 31 with the Bravo 18 and the Charlie 25, and now the second production of the Alpha 31. This second production of the Alpha 31 comes in a black EPX 600 and a silver UVX 40 that is matched with a black VX 42. Full disclosure, I bought the UVX 40 version and Remote Equipment provided the EPX 600 version. For the purposes of this review, I'm mostly gonna be showing the UVX 40, but we will show the EPX 600 as well, including the interior. The second production has some great upgrades and I really love these bags. So it is clear I'm a fanboy of both Remote equipment and the Alpha 31, uh, but I want to provide you a thorough review of this bag. So let's get started and first we're going to check out the exterior. The material on this, the UVX 40, is very unique, it's very light and very durable. It feels thicker than like a VX42. I wouldn't say like twice as thick, but maybe, you know, a third thicker. It's almost like a, a shower curtain feel, uh, but an awesome sailcloth. Honestly, at first glance, I did not think I would like the look of this UVX 40, the, the silver with the white lines. I don't know, it just took a while to grow on me, but once it did, wow, I am all in now with the UVX 40. At the bottom, we've got the VX42 X-Pack material, and both of these materials are really light, making this bag lighter than the original Alpha 31 and the new EPX 600. Now, the EPX 600 is on the outside of this entire bag, the top to the bottom. And this material feels like a true update to the X51, which was used on the original Alpha 31. So if you lament that they're not using the X51 anymore on the Alpha 31, I really think you're gonna like the EPX 600. Now, this material does attract hair and fuzz similar to the x51 so just keep that in mind on the front we've got these two torpedo pockets that fit quite a bit we've got an upside down u access to the main compartment of the bag we've got two large loops on either side of the bottom here and you can use these for trekking poles for hanging your wet shoes whatever we've got five web loops here at the bottom for anchoring a bicycle light or something else and a double layered top front handle the sides are pretty similar, except the left side when you're wearing the bag does have access to the laptop compartment. You have the top compression that comes down here on the side. You've got a bungee cable that really can mount anywhere. It's going through these two last straps right now, uh, but you can use this for trekking poles or something else. The two compression straps on the side have buckles and they can be used for mounting the remote equipment org kits. So here I've got an org kit that is full of camera gear. This is a Lumix G100 with a small lens. I've got the DJI pocket and two tripods in here. Now you can mount the org kits through the loops that are closest to the bag or the loops on the outside. When I'm traveling and don't need access to the org kit apart from removing it, then I'll run the straps through the outside to make it more secure. And then just tighten these straps. And there you go. So this is what it looks like with the org kit on the side. This is a great option if you're traveling and if your bag is completely full and you need some more space. So these are two and a half liters each. So you can really add five more liters to this bag. There's also mesh pockets on the side for your water bottle. Here's a big Yeti water bottle and that fits in just fine. It'll even fit a one liter water bottle. This side of the bag is basically identical except you don't have the laptop access. Bottom of the bag is basically this VX42 material. Top of the bag, you've got the front handle, which is double-sided, and a back handle, and a quick access pocket. You also have the roll top access. Back of the bag, you have some good foam for comfort, and this shelf system, which provides airflow in the center, similar to the Charlie 25. At the top, we've got an opening for a water bladder tube. 
And at the bottom on either side, we've got anchors for a waist belt, which is included for no additional charge. The shoulder straps have two layers of padding. There's a firm layer on the outside and a softer layer on the inside. The sternum strap is adjustable, but not removable, has a whistle, some elastic for some give, and we have load lifters at the top, which really adds to the comfort of the bag. The hardware on this is ITW Nexus, and we have some good strap management at the bottom of the shoulder strap. So let me try this on for you. The load lifter strap has a nice loop at the bottom of it, and I have this as tight as it will go. I really like the strap management on these. The shoulder straps are really comfortable. They do take a little bit of getting used to and to break in just a little bit. And I, I'm not sure they're quite as comfortable as the original Alpha 31 shoulder straps. And if I'm traveling and carrying over 25, 30 pounds, I'm definitely gonna wanna use the waist belt on this. I am six foot three, 180 pounds. Now the shoulder straps will conveniently fit in one of these front torpedo pockets and they attach at the bottom here, easily looping through. Let me show you what it looks like with the waist strap on. So the waist strap hits pretty well on my body, but I don't like this extra strap. I wish there was some strap management for these waist straps. You can put the strap back through this loop here. So it's nice to have these two loops here on the waist strap so you can tuck it through there. Keeps it nice and clean. So they are pretty easy to remove. So let's get into this bag. And before we do, I'd love for you to triple click for me. Click the like button, subscribe button, and ring that bell to check out all our future reviews. Thanks. I've got the bag full of my everyday gear, so as we go through each compartment, I'll be doing a loadout as we go. Starting with the front torpedo pockets, on this one I keep a hero clip, and the inside does not have a liner, so it helps the bag to be even lighter. Then on this side, I've got a pouch. This is obviously UVX 40 material. This is from D-Made Bags. It's their pencil dop kit. And I've got my essentials in here. I've got Simply Mints. Cologne from Fulton and Rourke, AirPods Pro in a Nomad leather case, Hero Clip, deodorant, chapstick, candy, iPhone stand, gum from Quip. This is really cool. Oh, and my AirTag, which tracks the pouch, but also the entire backpack when I'm traveling. And it's on this really cool leather keychain from Nomad Goods. So this pouch has my essentials. Uh, and if I'm heading to lunch or something, I'll just take this with me. And it has these loops on the end. So I've just attached a wandered carry strap and so I can wear this like a sling. And yes, I do carry this like a sling. It's like it's from the future or something. So if you do get the Alpha 31, I highly recommend getting the D-Made Bags pencil dop kits because uh, they fit so perfectly in these front pockets. The EPX 600 also has a pencil dop kit, come on, in the same material from D-Made Bags. And you can get any interior material you want on these. And the interior has no lining, again, to decrease the weight of the bag. Now let's open this half clam shell. So we've got this main compartment here, and then on the inside of the front, we've got this large mesh pocket that zips shut. So I've got the Peak Design Packable Tote, my journal and Bible, and my Full Focus Productivity Planner. In the main compartment, I've got three pouches of different sizes. I've got a small Mazda pouch for my sunglasses, a UVX 40 dot kit from D-Made Bags, and this has my charging cable from Nomad Goods, my 35 watt charger from Nomad, 65 watt charger from Anchor, and USB-C to lightning cable. This universal cable from Nomad is really cool because it's USB-C, but it has these attachments for micro USB and for USB. So you can use the USB-C charger, but you've got adaptability for what you want to charge. I've got another pencil dop kit here from D-Made Bags. Got my blue blocker glasses and selfie stick tripod for my iPhone. And then I have another org kit that is full of small pouches. This small pouch from D-Made Bags has an anchor battery charger and an anchor cable. The Garage Built Gear Mighty Pouch. Pen, essential oil, knife, prayer bracelet, and this really cool tin. It has organization for gum, mints, and candy. In this side, I've got two small pouches from Dan Mazda. This holds my Western Rise Versa hat, and this has various pens. On the inside here, we've got a laptop sleeve and a tablet sleeve. Inside the tablet sleeve, I have my iPad mini encased in a D-Made bags pouch. I like stickers. So the pouch just adds a little bit of additional padding to it, which I like. And then it also has these two loops on the side, so I can attach a strap and just wear this like a sling. 
So if I just wanna take my iPad with me somewhere, I can wear this like a sling and it's pretty handy. I should mention the zippers on this take a little while to break in, especially on the UVX 40 version. I found they were a lot easier to break in on the EPX 600. All right, then here on the side, we've got the laptop access. And this is my 13 inch MacBook Pro. Now I will say, uh, you know, one negative about this bag is that when the bag is completely full, it is pressing against the laptop compartment. And there's really just this, it's almost like a mesh type material, but it's not mesh, uh, but it's a very flexible material here on the back. And this is all that separates the laptop compartment from the main compartment of the bag. And so when the bag is very full and everything is pushing against the back, it can be a little bit difficult to wedge your laptop inside of it. And so sometimes I'll stick a laptop sleeve inside of here and then move the laptop in and out of the laptop sleeve. I wish this divider was more firm. I think it would make it easier for getting the laptop in and out. Also, if you're using these compression straps and compressing the bag down, that creates a little bit of tension here at these anchor points. So when then you're zipping the laptop shut, it might be a little bit slower at those anchor points. All right, now the top access, there's a small pocket here at the top and I've got uh, just a small pouch inside of here. Again, D-Made Bags pouch and I've got uh, gum. <laughs> it says, uh-oh, emergency underpants, one pair. This literally had a pair of underpants in it. I ordered it from Amazon. I thought it was the funniest thing, uh, but I keep gum in here. Young Living Oils Thieves Mints an emergency mask, ibuprofen, and chapstick. So all my quick access stuff I keep here at the top pocket. Now this top pocket is a good size. I can fit my whole hand in here. And the roll top, if you roll it down this direction, it can you know, block this zipper a little bit, uh, but I prefer to roll it this way anyway. Now when expanding the roll top, uh, you wanna use these D-rings to loosen it, and then you can unbuckle either side, and it just rolls all the way up. So the roll top fully extended, this is how high it can get. So this will fit a lot of gear. Now you can roll the top forward or backward. It's designed to do it either way. Once you roll it down, you can buckle it in. Now you wanna be careful if you're using these side compression straps and these are unbuckled and this is unbuckled, you don't wanna buckle the wrong thing into the wrong buckle. If you do that, you could end up breaking a buckle or getting it stuck. So just make sure you're using the right buckle for the right thing. And then there's a loop that you can pull this down Clip it on this side and pull it all the way down. Now you can tighten these side compression straps. If you tighten these compression straps all the way, you're looking at a pretty thin bag. So I have had times where I just put my laptop in here and a few other items and I'll compress it like this and it's just a super light, small bag. Now let's take a look at the inside of the EPX 600. So as you can see, very similar interiors on this. As I mentioned, there's no liner on this. So the inside of the UVX 40 material is a little different than the inside of the EPX 600. Other than that, there's not much of a difference to the inside of these two bags. At the top, you have this uh, top access pocket and uh, underneath you've got the water bladder attachment, uh, which you can tuck behind the frame here if you're not gonna be using it. And then of course, we've got some branding here from remote equipment. So here is the bag fully maxed out, fully loaded. I got two turns on the roll top and then cinched it down. I've got org kits on either side, adding a total of five liters. I've got the triple aught design double booster, adding a little bit in the front. They say the bag will hold 31 to 34 liters. And obviously it'll go smaller than 31 liters if you compress the sides. It'll go down to, you know, 20 liters or smaller. But with both org kits, you're adding a total of five liters. So that gets you to 39 liters. And personally, I think the roll top gives you a little bit more. So we're somewhere around 40, 42 liters with this fully packed out. So if I'm gonna fully load out the bag like this, I would normally use the waist strap as well. Can you even see the top? I don't know. So it's a little bit big and awkward like this, but I gotta tell you, they put the weight at the top of this bag and that makes it a lot easier to carry. So I love that I can get 40 plus liters out of this when I'm traveling, but then when I reach my destination, I can still just use the backpack and compress the sides down so that it's like 20 liters. 
The Remote Equipment Alpha 31 Second Production. It is an awesome backpack. If you're gonna own one backpack, I gotta tell you, this is the one I think you should own. I've got a few interviews with Remote Equipment's founder, Philip De Los Reyes. I'll provide links to those down below and you can check them out. As I mentioned, there's not a lot of differences between these two bags other than the materials, but there are a lot of differences between the second production and the first production of the Alpha 31. So I've got a comparison video between the original Alpha 31 and the second production coming out tomorrow. It's a short video, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you don't miss out on that, so make sure you subscribe. Thank you to Remote Equipment for providing the EPX600 version of this backpack, and man, I love this UVX40 as well. Since I've gotten so many accessory pouches through D-Made bags for this UVX40, you can probably tell I'm gonna be using it a little bit more than the other one. Again, I did not expect to like the UVX40 as much as I do. Uh, looking at the pictures doesn't do it justice. Once you get this thing in hand, it just, it just grows on you and it's really amazing. If you're looking to pick up one of the second production Alpha 31s, I've got a 10% off link down below that is active through the end of July, 2022. Hey, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel to check out all our future reviews. Thanks so much and take care.